Welcome to the tutorial on LaTeX and GNU plot. In this tutorial, we will learn the pause command to suspend script file execution, add LaTeX symbols in access labels, export the output to a LaTeX file, open the LaTeX compiler file, compile it, generate a PDF file. And crop the PDF file using PDF crop. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 16.04 OS, GNUplot 5.2.6, GEdit 3.18, TechWorks 0.6.3, and PDF crop 1.38. Windows users need MicTech and ActivePerl 5.28 to use PDF crop. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the basics of GNU plot and LaTeX. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. The input files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Download links for TechWorks, ActivePerl and MicTech are shown here. I have saved the input file data.txt on the desktop. The file consists of three columns, x, Y1 and Y2 type data. Please open a terminal and change the directory to desktop. I will write and save a script here using gedit text editor. Enter the command as seen on the screen to make a script file. The ampersand detaches the process from the terminal. Let's write a script to plot two graphs on the screen. I will plot the two sets of data y1 and y2 on y-axis. First, I will write a comment line. Let's plot x, y1 data. I will set the terminal. I will add graph formatting commands and add a title for the plot. Here, we are incorporating LaTeX symbols, Beta and Sigma in axis labels. The underscore U will format the U subscript in LaTeX at a later stage. The caret 2 creates a superscript for the number 2. Plot X, Y1 data and specify the legend as Y1. Type the pause minus 1 command line as seen on the screen. The pause command suspends the script and waits for a user input. The minus 1 refers to the user input which require the user to press the enter key. The text press enter to continue is also displayed on the screen. Next we will plot x, y2 data. I will again add a few graph formatting commands. I will also give a title and incorporate LaTeX symbols in axis labels. Make a plot with the first and the third columns here. Again, enter the pause command, pause minus 1, with press enter to continue at the prompt. I will save the file. Click on the save button on the top right corner, minimize gedit and go back to the terminal. Open GNU plot from the terminal. I will also clear the screen. Let's load the newly created script file as seen. Notice the plot has access labels. They are in LaTeX format. We will compile later on in this tutorial. The terminal prompt reads, 
Press enter to continue. Press enter in the terminal and notice the second plot. You have seen both the plots. Let's plot y1 and y2 together in a latex scaffold to generate a tech file. Again, press enter in the terminal. Now, we are back on GNU plot prompt. Go to the gedit window to edit the script. Let's generate a tech file output from GNU plot. I will add a command line first, mentioning the same. Set the term to latex and give an output file name. Here the output file name is gnuplot.tech. This generates a file in tech format. Here again, latex symbols are incorporated in axis labels. I will change line, symbol and color properties in the plot command. For demonstration, I will add 3 seconds delay after the pause. The message text display would read, Now tech file is generated. Type reset to reset the terminal at the end of the script. Save the file. Minimize gedit and go back to the terminal. Load the script file again. Press enter in the terminal and notice the second plot. Press enter again on the terminal as seen here. After the 3 seconds pause, the prompt returns to GNU plot prompt. The output is a LaTeX file as specified in the script. Let's exit GNU plot. Go to desktop and notice the newly generated tech file. Open the file using tech program. Notice a large file in tech format. We will compile this file with the tech and generate a PDF file output. For this purpose, do the following. Open a new blank file from the tech window. Enter the commands as seen on the screen. We will add header and user package details. Pause the video as and when required. Next, compile the GNU plot generated file in LaTeX. Mention the name of the tech file that is to be compiled. Then, specify to end the document. Let's save the file. I will give file name as bgnuplot.tech and save in the desktop folder. Click on the save button on the bottom right corner. Now click on the typeset icon to generate the PDF file. A PDF file appears on the screen. Now you have generated the graph integrating GNUplot and LaTeX. Notice the Greek symbols, superscript and subscript in the PDF file. Close the text documents and the PDF file. Let's go back to the terminal. Now crop this document using PDF crop. I will also clear the screen. Enter the command PDF crop space bgnuplot.pdf. This program crops the margins from the PDF file. The PDF crop has named the file with the crop suffix. The PDF crop may look similar to this for Windows users. Go to desktop again and notice the newly generated cropped file. Open the cropped file to view it. I will close this PDF file. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we learned the pause command. Generated a LaTeX output file. Compiled the LaTeX file to generate a PDF file of the graph. And cropped the output PDF file using PDF crop. 
for assignment activity practice the exercise learned in this tutorial read the documentation on pause command from the help section suspend the script with time delay of 10 seconds and with the mouse click use data file assignment.txt to generate a graph you may also use your own choice of dataset Generate a LaTeX output for a GNU plot graph. Compile the file in LaTeX and generate a PDF file output. Your assignment may look similar to this. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Post your timed queries in the forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.